Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Lauren. I have a pastel, kind of pastel goth kawaii resin update for you today. Uh, if you hear me sniffling, please ignore it. My allergies are at hiatus right now and they're not liking me, so I definitely apologize for sniffing and or sneezing. I'm going to go ahead and just get started. So all of these are pastel theme and they're all coming up for Halloween. Here is a mint and purple pumpkin. Here is a mint and soft purple rib cage. A lot of these still need to be domed, sanded, glazed, all the what have you. Here is my Ouija board and it just says Mystifying Oracle and it has some ghost stars in it. Um, it's lilac and it's been domed in purple as well. Here is a purple and mint green ribcage heart. I got one pigment freckle on there, so I might either add a rhinestone and give it like an accent on the side, or I'm not really sure. I don't like it just being so loud and proud, so I'll fix it somehow. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is the worst video ever. So here is a, another heart rib cage. It's a different variation. I got these molds from Crafty Lefty in a D stash, and I picked up all five of them. I didn't realize that there were like, whoever molded it had an unusual mold, but I still like it regardless. So it came in handy. I have two of these. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera. They say kawaii on them, and of course I'm holding them both upside down. I will be using um, silicone in the middle of them to actually make them into an Oreo and have them like that. So I will show you those when they're ready. I have these two sherbet orange colored painted with black um, sugar skulls and they have yet to be domed on the back and I'm going to be resining over them so it's all an even surface and it'll cover up some of those little air pockets too. And I have this orange one which has yet to be painted. It's that same sherberty orange. So I'm not sure what color I want to do on this one yet. I have a glittery lavender lilac chocolate bar. And then I have two that's actually not on there. I need to wipe it off. I have two Kawaii Oreo in the lilac -y color, and again, I will be putting them together with silicone. And I'm super excited to show this. It is on a sort of pastel turquoise chain, and it's two of the purple rocker skull hands, and in the middle it says rock on. This is a necklace I made for myself, but of course it can always be replicated if somebody would like one. They are going to be $15 each. And I have this mint and purple rib cage. Mint and purple heart rib cage. And purple with, um, I used a clear glitter and the same purple, I think, on the inside, and then I used it with the 10 minute resin. Painted the inside of the rib cage with the purple to offset the accent of this one. Boy, that made no sense at all. Sorry, I'm tired. It's one of those mornings. So then I, oops, have a set of the orange rocker skull hands. And those will possibly be going into another necklace. Here's one where I painted the mold and, um, Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to lie, this mold was so hard for me to paint, I had to keep tilting the mold to see where the lines were, so I don't know if I'm going to be detailing them again. I love how this turned out, I'm not even going to lie, I absolutely love how it turned out. However, it was so hard for me to paint. Um, not that it was hard for me to paint as far as using the tools to paint it, just making sure that I was painting exactly where I wanted it painted and not anywhere else. Because I have made that mistake before and then I wasn't very happy with myself. I have neon pastel pigment all over my things here. Here are three orange pumpkins and they just say boo and again I'll be resining over the top to make them all level surface and doming the back probably with either orange or white and then I have this mint green painted white. Oh, oh my gosh I am a calamity. I apologize guys. Mint green sugar skull now the next few ones coming up are still the pastel theme, but they are black light responsive. I used Jars Galactic Neon Pigment, 
So this is from Shauna on Facebook or Jar Just Add, Just Add Resin. And here is the heart rib cage again. And I painted it white and it's got the mint heart and it does glow in the black light. They all do, so I'm not going to keep saying that. It needs to be domed on the back. My resin started curing before I was ready for it, so I will make that a level surface or I'll make it matte. Here is a green and pink um, pumpkin. Here is a black sugar skull and a white one. Not really sure which one I like better. I always like white because I have this obsession with either clear or white things, but the black makes it more like badass, so um, I don't know. I'll let you guys give me an opinion on which one you like better, but I'm sure I'll make them in a bunch of colors regardless. I just like hearing what other people think. Here is uh, the rib cage again. This one did get pigment freckles. I don't know if it'll focus for you to see it, but it's actually not awful. But um, I will probably be keeping this one for myself or putting it on a magnet for Paige because she is constantly trying to hoard all of my, quote, fails. Put it on a magnet. Put it on a magnet. Okay, child of mine. Here are some pastel glitter bats. Some have glitter. Some do not. Most of them do. There's one without. Three with. Three without. All purple. In case you're wondering, um, the theme of the pastel is going to go on this bad boy here. This is one of the light up ones from Michaels. And I will be doing, I hope, a mint and black silicone to go with this. And I'm thinking, don't quote me on this guys, but I'm thinking of actually gluing this guy on here first. And then using the silicone all around it and adding a few cabochons on it. So let me know what you think about that. And then I have a ton of bones. I'm just going to show you the plate. I have mint, orange, and pink. They need to be sanded on the edges or exactoed off on the edges on some of them. And then I have this one orange bow right here. So as usual, thank you to all my new and old subscribers. Um, Hello to anybody new. I try to update as often as I can. Now that I'm going back into my regular work schedule, it will be a little less often. I will be moving into Christmas themed things before I know it, probably within the next month. Um, as any, um, as every one of you know, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can do so at In Your Tweens with a Z, Dreams with an S. I post on there almost daily. And if not, it's usually every other day. I hope whatever time of day it is, morning, noon, or night, you're certainly having a good one. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.